Yo, I am blown away by the accuracy of this freaking green screen removal. I played around a great deal trying to do some edits for my filter on OBS and look what came out. This is pretty amazing. I'm blown away. Um, I'm Mike Pugh. I'm your host of FPC Virtual and I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. Um, definitely in terms of raising the quality of your videos. Um, when I first started my video quality was really really horrible. When I say that it's because the background of my videos was in my actual room and the room that I was living in at that time it didn't have a really great setup um, in terms of creating a video to enhance the presence of what I'm actually creating the video itself the um, entertainment value etc it didn't have the kind of lighting it didn't have the kind of background for folks to be entertained long enough to actually care to watch um, I did have a lot of views on a lot of videos because I was doing reaction videos and I was using SEO which is known as search engine optimization and I can talk about that in the future as well uh, I'm not going to do too many transitions for this video I just wanted y'all folks to hear um, of the fact of what I've created and it's, it's pretty crazy um, it, it's crazy when you think about what you can do starting from the beginning and then scaling up with your videos um, starting out like that in a background scenario that's not that great um, and then getting to the point where you can create a really really nice quality looking background this background here behind me is from pixabay.com it's a photo that someone put on there I have no idea who put it on there but it looks pretty awesome so I decided to try to put it on to my video uh, setup and behind me I'm overlaid on top of it it's underlaid behind my actual webcam so I think that is pretty sensational when you can elevate that background and then foreground put yourself behind it and also elevate the foreground by working on your green screen removal I'm using the OBS studio to do it for free and that is just phenomenal because like I said from where I came from to where I'm at it's a huge huge difference a huge transition so I just wanted y'all folks to get to see this and get to see that the reality of what you can create and if you work hard on it it takes a little time to enhance the pixel quality to remove certain pixels um, but I, I have a video for y'all folks that's coming in the works hopefully y'all folks are willing to check it out it's actually I'm gonna do a series on it because it takes some time to actually pull out all the pixels that you can and really render the best view um, what I'm using in my house I'm using regular lights uh, like a lamp actually I got a lamp right here regular lamp no strobe lights or anything like that and as you can see the shadow see the shadow move around sometimes that's going to affect your actual background lighting if you don't have good lighting in your room in your home whatever so you have to play around with different positional lights definitely with this kind of light a regular lamp that you can buy from Walmart or something like that position it in front of your webcam and move it around so you can see what effect it's going to have on your green screen behind you the green screen behind me is lit up from the ceiling lamp that's out there as you can see the static right here when I raise my arm that's gonna come up it's gonna be a problem you're gonna have static all around you in different ways so if you want to remove that stuff you have to really really focus on light and um, how you can gear around you your differing setups to remove that so playing around with it will help you um, you also gotta go into your filter let me go into the filter right now and try to see if I can remove some of that static so you can do it like that let's see let's go into the chroma key um, smoothness play with the smoothness and it will affect other things as well so it's like a balance somewhat 
can't get rid of all of it but I can move my lamp and bring that light in and get rid of that shadow so it's really like shadows that, that's affecting you and now you don't see it that much when I move my hands see so I can move and talk and move my hands and it doesn't seem like it's being affected now what's being affected is my hat so I have to go into the filter play around with the smoothness again on a chroma key wish y'all guys can see it but you can't really see because I don't have the right tool to record the screen and now it's back let's try the similarity and smoothness and adjust a little I mean you can't have everything the way you want some things are going to cause offsets on other things see the light now now the lighting is, is a lot better but you're seeing the lamp in the way so maybe I have to move the light back here to remove this see so you have to have a light positioned somewhere else in your room to remove a lot of the shadows that are affected or that are created by different positional things you choose to do so I angle you can angle the light to certain ways and that will ch change the effect so let's try that that's the best I can do I can't really get better than that so let me not raise my hand and just talk like this move my hands like this instead of going like that I, mean, I can go like that I can go like this but if I raise my arm that's gonna cause a problem so if you know that don't do that in your videos if you haven't had problem because everything else looks pretty crisp right so I'm done with that I just wanted y'all folks to see what I came up with hopefully you like this kind of setup this background I'm gonna be working on more backgrounds I'll put the link in the videos description area if I can find that background again that I got from um, pixabay.com it might take me a little while I didn't actually copy the the website location but it's a public domain so you can actually use the photo as a background for your videos as well um, I'll try to create a series for backgrounds in general and I, I did promise that in the past I had a few that I created and helping people learn how, how to create scroll effects and stuff like that <clears throat> but um, I, I think I'm gonna have one dedicated to to backgrounds because um, backgrounds and virtual sets are really awesome and they actually help people to enhance their content their video content and step into different arenas of content creation and and video development video production so um, it's really key to get into that kind of stuff if you want to go further and further out on YouTube that's what I believe other than that definitely for uh, YouTube creators who are into how to and into um, maybe educational or trying to create documentaries and different things like that you can really really offset and play around with your scenes um, changing multiple scenes putting yourself in many different positions so other than that I'm out of here Joe Love and Peace to all see you next time Mike Pugh signing off and hopefully like I said you liked what you saw and uh, that's it. Peace.